expand and simplify. This is again a one skill uh, that is required in algebra. So before we go into algebra, so let's um, go start with the number. Suppose you want to multiply, say, 4 times 27. Now, uh, there are different ways of multiplying one number, one digit by two digit. So uh, to use, to explain the skill of algebra in number, so this well, you can say this is four times 20 plus seven. Okay, so this is four times 20 plus seven. You can also put this in a grid form if you want to understand in a grid form. So let's write this in a grid form, okay. You can understand grid multiplication. So this is, let me write, draw a line here. I want to explain expanding by in a grid multiplication form. So this is a, I want to do this uh, using grid multiplication. This is four times, this is the times, and you got 20 and seven here. Yeah. So 4 times 27 is same as multiplying 4 times 20 plus 4 times 7. So you go 4 times 20, so you know 4 times 2 is 8, so that is 80. And 4 times 7 is 28. You should know the times table from 1 to 9 at least. And this is, you have to add them, so the final answer would be 80 plus 28. 80 plus 28, which is 108. Okay, so let me take one more example. Say, if you have, uh, say, especially those who struggle in multiplying numbers, this is a very good skill. Say, you want to multiply 7 times 58. 7 times 58, so let me rub this off. Okay, so here, this is 7 times 58 can be written as there are 5 tens, which is 50, and 8 ones. So you simply do 7 times 5, I know 7 times 5 is 35, and then you put a 0. This is 350, and 7 times 8 is 56. So to get to the answer, this is 350 plus 50 plus 6. This is basic number skills. I'm just writing them in, in hundreds, tens, and ones. So this is 406. So the final answer is 406. Okay. What if, suppose let me cancel this. Oops, I want to delete this. Okay, I want to make this a bit more complicated. Okay, now before we make it complicated, so let's use the same concept in algebra. So if it is a five times m plus eight, suppose. This is what we you get in algebra. So this is same as what we did previously. So we say phi, this is phi. There's no multiplication sign, but it is times. So this is phi times m plus phi. So this is in the bracket. I'll put this is m plus 8. Okay, this is in the bracket, and this is a phi which is sitting outside. So this is phi times m. So this is basically, you're asking the question, what is phi times m? Let me do in two different ways. So this is phi times m, and then you've got a plus sitting here, and then you've got to, this is also called the distributive property in maths. It's got a big word, phi times m plus phi times 8. Now phi times m, if you have seen my previous video, this is 5m, and phi times 8 is 40. So this is same thing, 5m plus 40. And now you don't know what is m. You can't, sip, you can't add these to these are unlike terms, and this is your answer. When it was numbers, we, we can add numbers. Now this is an unknown value. We don't know what's the value of m. m can be anything. m, m can be any number, or it is an expression. So this and this cannot be added. Okay. So let's take one more example. Okay, say uh, nine times, uh, say a minus four. 
9 times a minus 4. So let me draw a square or rectangle. Okay, and then split this. Okay, so this is this is your 9 times a, I'll put this in the bracket, minus 4. And now you go 9 times a, which is 9a, and 9 times negative 6 is minus 36. And if you want to do directly, this is 9 times a, you you got a minus sitting there, minus 9 times 4, which is 9a minus 36. Okay, one more example. Okay, so what happens if it is, say, 7, bracket, uh, 3p plus 4q. Same process, no, diff no different. You make a grid or make a rectangle. Okay, split. So this is 1 by 2 digits. So this is 1. So this is, let me write 7 here. This is 7 times 3p, I'll put a bracket, plus 4q, just to show you the bracket here. So, you just multiply as you're multiplying numbers. So, 7, seven times 3 is 21, and it's 7 times 3p, so this is 21p. And 7 times 4 is 28, plus 28 28q. So the final answer is 21p plus 28p, 28q.